Welcome, and follow me is a Redmi 13 and today I will show you how you can enable and also set up your portable hotspot. So to get started, pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of the screen and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. Next, locate the hotspot toggle, which... See if I can find mine quickly. Oh, there we go, it's on the second page or right over here. So once you see your toggle, which is added by default, so it's going to be on one of the pages. Once you see it, hold it the first time around and this will quickly take you to the settings. In here, select the setup portable hotspot and it automatically selects the password. You can also tap on the eye icon right here to view the uh, password, but as you can see, it is randomly generated and not very fun in terms of like typing it in. Um, to add this network. So I do recommend removing it and setting up your own new password, which will need to have at least eight characters in length. Once you change that, you can click on a check mark in the corner to save the changes. Additionally, there's also another option in here that is uh, toggled on by default, which I do recommend keeping on, which is the turn off hotspot automatically. This makes it so when the hotspot is not being used for about 10 minutes or so, the device will automatically turn off your hotspot. Now, the reason you want that on is because hotspot will consume more of your phone's battery. So when you're not using it, there is really no reason uh, for it to be running in the background. Now from here, once everything is set, find the toggle once more. If I click on it, I am going to quickly check if Wi-Fi is enabled. And once you find the toggle, this time around, just press on it. So from here, you can now connect to your hotspot. And once you're done using it, just you can kind of well, obviously not do anything and the device will turn it off after like 10 minutes. Or you can turn it off yourself before the timer runs out by just finding the toggle and tapping on it once more. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.